Okay, so I'm doing a video here on this second attempt at not yet learned. It's called finding, where am I here? Finding isotope mass or natural abundance from atomic mass. So I did a couple of these in class uh, yesterday, but I see people are still um, looking at that and not, not, not to, so like one fifth of those that have attempted it have not yet learned it. So let's, let's look at one. Hold one up here on my whiteboard already. Finding isotope mass or natural abundance from atomic mass. All right, so there's two things I gotta do here. Number one, I have to know uh, what this, essentially what, what's going on here, right? There's only two naturally occurring stable isotopes of carbon. And so it's given, this is a table showing both of those, carbon 12 and carbon something else, okay? Well, the, um, the mass of carbon 12 is, is that, the mass of the other one is here, and the natural abundance of carbon 12 is this one, and the natural abundance of the other isotope is here. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot to find out and we don't know it. But if you do know that there's only two naturally occurring, well that plus that must equal 100%, right? And so we're gonna say that the first one, first answer is gonna be pretty easy. It's just the different, the difference between those two, okay? So is that right, 98.93? Okay, so it's seven. Oh, just me here, I carried that to make that a nine. Makes that a nine, 1.07%. Okay, so that's 1.07%. 1.07, right? Because the sum of those two is, is, um, is 100, right? All right, now that we know that, we're gonna go to our definition of a weighted average. Well, we know that the overall average of carbon um, that the average mass of carbon, the average mass of carbon is 12.0107 AMU, right? And we know that the mass of carbon 12 is, is, is uh, 12 even. And so what we're gonna say is we're gonna go, okay, well, I'm gonna take isotope X and take the percentage of isotope X and say isotope Y, and the percentage of isotope Y, and say that this is equal to my average mass, right? Just by definition of a weighted average, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this guy be X and this guy be Y. If that's the case, then the mass of X is 12.000 times the percentage of that, which is 0.9893, right? Plus uh, the other isotope, which I don't know that mass, so I'm gonna call that Y, times the percentage of that, I do know that, it's 0.0107, is gonna equal to 12.0107. And I'll look this up in my periodic table. Right? It would be right here. I can't click that button because this is just a snapshot, but all right. And this is it, that's it, that's the whole thing. Not to solve for why. Here's the thing though, uh, it turns out that, that Alex is gonna require you to have the right number of sig figs. So I'm gonna go through and very slowly, and, I, and I, I know the students who are not getting this probably are doing everything right, just not, not the sig figs. Excuse me, so I'm gonna go through real slowly here, and I'm gonna first of all multiply these two, and you see that this has five sig figs, this number does, and this one has four. So the product of those two is gonna only have four sig figs, right? Well, I don't have a calculator, just a second here. The product of those two numbers only has four sig figs. So I'm gonna calculate it out, clear, 12 times, 0.9893 is equal to, this is 11.8716. But I can only report this to four sig figs, right? Because it's the product of those two numbers, right? I'm gonna keep all the digits, but I know that in the end, that's the last sig fig. <coughs> all right, so plus Y0107 is equal to 12.0107. Wow, what a coincidence, look at that. 
I think it's a coincidence. You see that 0107? All right, now that I've got that, I'm going to subtract eleven point eight seven one six from both sides and I'm gonna get y is equal to just a minute here zero point one zero point one three nine one right uh, oh, wait a second. Right, look at that. 0.876. So this is my last sig fig here. So I can only go out two decimals past two places. I can only go out to the tens place. Do you see that? I've done this with several students, so I know this is going to be a sticking point for you. But look at folks. If, if, the, if the seven is my last sig fig, and I knew it was my last sig fig because over here I could only have four sig figs, right? So those are it. Now I'm gonna use all the numbers in my calculations, but that seven is my last significant one. If that's the case, I only know out to the hundreds place. So this goes to 0.13, wow, look at that. 0.13, right? Now I'm gonna keep all the digits. It's really gonna, this is basically gonna be 0.14. But I'm going to keep all these digits. I know now this this number only has two sig figs because I can only go out to the hundreds place. You may have to review the addition and subtraction significant digits rule. All right, it's two sig figs. And so I'm going to take this number now. I know all this, this is getting a little bit busy here, but I'm, y then is going to be 0 0.1391, two sig figs divided by 0 0.0107 and that's got three sig figs right so my number which I'm going to bring over here is going to be divided by 0 0.0107 is equal to 13 what really unbelievable 13 and come to find out, it can only have two sig figs. Man, that is bizarre. I'm, I, I was not expecting something that clean. Okay, now that's 12 even, so I guess that makes it somewhat believable, but wow, it's unbelievable. Okay, so this goes to be 13, and you can only report it as 13. That's all you can do, right? Because <clears throat> you can only report it as 13 because I'm only allowed to use two sig figs, all right? Now, if that's 13, and I think that Alex may require you to put a decimal point afterwards, then what's this number going to be? That's the, that's also 13. Wow. Okay, I hope that's helpful. My suggestion is that this is the place where people are going to get lost because it's only two sig figs, right? And why is it two sig figs? Well, it's two sig figs because I was limited by my sig figs by that seven there. And how did I know that? Well, I knew that because I only had four sig figs in that number. All right, so this is really a complicated problem. Um, it's great practice, so I hope you push through and get it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you if you say it's difficult. All right, hope that's helpful. Good luck.